What's up, guys? This is Crazy Awesome, and today uh, we are doing another request by um, The Warning, Enter Salmon. I'm so excited to hear this. Um, and yeah, yeah, and I absolutely, and I saw their, um, I saw when they were kids. It was so amazing, uh, really adorable, really touching, very inspiring, too. Um, and they did such a great job as playing, like, they played this song when they were like 9, 12, and 14, which is absolutely amazing like i can't even describe how amazing that is as that is like so impressive like super duper impressive so i want to check out someone uh, suggested i check out their live performance um like several several years later um so i'm actually really really i think it was like nine years ago or something like they originally covered the enter sandman thing and then it blew up online um and apparently now um they 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 had redone it um a few years back in 2022 so now i want to check this out and i'm really excited to check i love their enter sandman when they were kids so it's going to be very interesting to see like how far they've come um like all the way from when they were kids they did amazing back then they did absolutely incredible they crushed enter sandman back then but it's interesting to see um you know then when they were kids all the way until now you know now they're really now they've they've made it you know now they've made it big you know now they're they're doing shows and so it's going to be really interesting to see that transition so i'm really excited for that um so yeah without further ado uh, enter sandman live uh by the warning pretty different to start us off right now Okay. Take my hand. Say your prayers, little one. Don't forget my son. To include everyone. I, I tuck you in one within. Keep you free from sin. Till the sin and evil. Sleep with one eye open. Gripping your pillow. Oh my god, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, completely different from what I was expecting, but they did it when they were kids, they kind of just covered the song, you know, the song already has a blueprint, so you can just kind of follow along and learn it, but they took Enter Sandman and flipped it, like, in their own style, that, I was so surprised, I was not expecting that at all, it's not like they are just, you know, playing, like, what they, they made it into their own, they turned it into their own thing, they, I love how they used a chorus as a buildup to the, like, kind of to the verses. Um, it's very interesting because in the original song that they, you know, the it's kind of like, a you know, the big chorus. It's like the pre-chorus kind of builds up to the to the chorus. But here, it's kind of like they took the chorus and they were like, okay, we're going to use this as a, we're still going to have the chorus. We're also going to, like, build. We're going to build to the next thing. And then they go to the off to Never Neverland and then it hits, like, really hard. I wasn't expecting them to, like like deviate this much from the original i was not expecting them to like to like really change and innovate so much as as much as they did but i guess you know i'm kind of i guess that was kind of my bad because i should have figured because the warning sounds great um but i just didn't expect i didn't expect them to change so much about it that's why i just think it's so good um they that was that that was amazing that, that was that was absolutely fantastic the way they brought everything in um I love the verses too, like how she changed the guitar riff. Like Danny did a great job of changing that guitar riff, and absolutely fantastic. Loving this so far. Um, great, this is great. So let's keep going. Those harmonies are so good.
amazing. I love how they turn it into their own thing. Oh man, dude, I love that. That 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 was surprising, amazing, spectacular, and unexpected in every single way I can ever imagine. I didn't I've heard Enter Sandman so many times, so I guess I didn't really expect them to do anything different with it. Um, you know, I just I was just like, oh okay, you know, I've heard a lot of Enter Sandman covers. I guess they're you know, they're probably gonna they, they might put a little spin on it, but I didn't I, I expected them to maybe, you know, maybe do a tiny spin on it. I didn't expect them to change the whole like songs like structure and the way that everything made you feel like they put it into their own style like it sounds like them and i think that's what i love about it the most it's like it, it's it really does sound like it, it sounds like the warning it doesn't sound like the warning trying to sound like metallica it sounds like the warning taking a metallica song and making it the warning that's what i love about this this is so unique so great I don't want to make people irritated. Like if I said like this was better than <laughs> the original, I mean the original is very legendary. Um, I'll just say I enjoyed listening to this one much more than the original. I do love the original Enter Sandman. Obviously, it's a great song, but uh, I don't know this one. This one was just a perfect. It, it is a perfect, perfect blend of like like the old metal sound and the new metal sound. It's like they both came together and had a child and had a beautiful beautiful child at that because this was this is amazing because as i said before like there are certain things that i kind of I, certain complaints i kind of have about sometimes like newer metal sometimes but this is like a perfect perfect blend of the two um where it's like raw it is it is raw but it's also you know it sounds really good it um you could tell it that like the mixing of everything like the production of everything it is very grand but it's not grand in a way where it just feels like everything is like you know it like it's trying to it doesn't feel like it's trying to impress you it feels like it's just it's not it's, it, feel, it doesn't feel pretentious at all is what i'm saying it doesn't feel like it's pretentious you know they don't take eight thousand solos or have a bunch of drum fills or they don't heavily process the drums on anything or the vocals of the guitar or the bass or for that matter um you know it's like it's raw but it also sounds really good and that's why i love about it it's like the perfect blend of like raw and um not raw you know and when i say not raw i just really mean you know like um polish you know touch like how touched up it sounds um it's a perfect blend of the two that i absolutely love and that's absolutely amazing so thank you guys so much for watching uh you guys take care and stay awesome thank you this is this is great so rock on